Shabbat Shalom, everyone. In this week's Torah portion, we have the transfer of leadership from Moses to Joshua. And our rabbis say that the transfer of Moses' leadership to Joshua was not like filling one pail from another pail, but rather like kindling one candle from another flame. What the rabbis are telling us is something very fundamental, and that is that there's two elements to leadership. There is the power and there is the influence. Power is like transferring water from one bucket to another. I take my power and I invest it in you. It is no longer in me, it is in you. But influence is like kindling a flame. I take my fire, my passion, my inspiration and I kindle your flame. And now you are ignited and you are lit and inspired, but I still have my light as well. Moses, is trans Moses transferred his power, but his influence lives on forever because when you kindle one flame after another, you don't lose anything in the process. You just multiply and increase the light. And that's the story of Moses' life. Even when Moses dies at the age of 120, surely at his death he no longer has any physical power. But his influence carries on till today, over 3,000 years later. The Talmud tells a story about a meeting in the forest between all the animals. They wanted to appoint a king of the forest. And the lion stood up and said, surely I should be the king. And he leaned back and gave a mighty roar to show his might and power and his roar echoed throughout the forest for miles. But then a little bird stepped forward and said, I think I should be the king of the forest. And they looked at him and said, you tiny little bird. And he said, watch. And he started to chirp a song. And as soon as the bird started to sing, the next bird over started to join with him. And then the birds all around, and then the birds in the tree above, and then the birds in the next tree. And from tree to tree, the bird's song continued to travel until the entire forest was filled with song. And the Talmud says the singing of the birds traveled further than the mighty roar of the lion. The Jewish people had very little power throughout their history, but tremendous amount of influence. And it's the influence of the Jewish people, starting with Moses, that carries on throughout the Jewish nation and continues to light candles throughout the world, igniting souls with the passion, with the love of Torah and, and Judaism. Just now, I was, I'm in the airport traveling with the family, and a man comes up to me and he says, are you Jewish? He said, yeah. He says, I'm not Jewish, but I studied the weekly Torah portion every week, and he starts talking to me about Joshua and Moses and this week's Torah portion. That's Moses' influence being felt here in the airport, not just with Jews, but even with non-Jews. Last night there was a very joyous wedding in Israel. It was the wedding of Ben Binyamin and Gali Segal. I met them in Israel on our trip a few months ago. This beautiful couple was at the Nova Music Festival on October 7th. And they fled and hid in a shelter, but the terrorists threw a grenade into the shelter. And both of them lost their right leg. And we met them at the hospital in Tel Aviv where they were both recovering from their wounds and learning how to walk with prosthetics. Last night they walked down the aisle on their own with their prosthetic legs. And at the conclusion of the chuppah ceremony, when the groom breaks the glass to remember the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem, Ben Binyamin took his right prosthetic leg and smashed the glass. And the message of the breaking of the glass is that we take the pain in the world and we transform it into joy. We take our joy and we overwhelm the pain because we remember that we have a privilege and a responsibility to remember the pain of the past and to make sure that we spread our joy and our love like the flames of the candle influencing others, touching the lives of others through our examples and through and by doing this we ultimately transform darkness into light. Have a Shabbat Shalom.